So we need to implement robust governance and cost management tools for hybrid cloud environments. FinOps has to be first and foremost in terms of your thinking and how you do planning around utilization of these workloads, utilization of these services. So if you're moving into the public cloud provider, you have to have FinOps systems already in place. They can't be uh, basically layered in afterwards uh, when you get into trouble. We need to understand what we're doing now, how we're going to move into the future, and making the right architectural options are going to bring the most value back to the business. And I think that many organizations just don't have visibility into that. There's no cost observability in terms of what we're actually paying for this stuff. Ingress, egress fees, cost of people, cost of integration, cost of complexity, heterogeneity, things like that. And then prioritize workload placement based on Drew Cross rather than perceived convenience. And so you got to remember that this is going to be us making critical decisions about where we're going to spend, uh, where we're going to spend money around the enterprise systems that we're looking to build into the future. And we have lots of platform options right now, and certainly private cloud, public cloud, second tier public cloud providers, sovereign clouds, you know, uh, GP, you know, GPU clouds, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff is out there now. The all cloud stuff is exploding. Lots of alternatives we're able to look at, which are other places that are able to host our workloads that may be more uh, cost advantageous for us. So anyway, this is going to be a big uh, deal, I think, over the next few years as people are wrestling with looking at a hybrid cloud infrastructure as really kind of their target environments now, where a few years ago, everybody was saying we're moving everything into the public cloud providers and, you know, hybrid cloud really wasn't going to be a thing. And many of the public cloud providers were pushing back on hybrid cloud as, as well. Now that we're embracing it, enterprises are inv- embracing it and they're doing so with the assumptions that it's going to be uh, better uh, cost optimistic for them. 